And as we've been saying, all three judges had to agree for them to come to this decision. And after eight days of testimony this afternoon, it all came to a close. We were inside this emotional day at the Forsyth County Courthouse. We do have some video from inside. The defense told us that they prepared their clients for either option, for either way this could have gone. But the judges, in a very brief remarks, said that they had made their decision. It was silent in the courtroom as the judges shared their, quote, profound sorrow for Nathaniel Jones's family. They thanked the Innocence Inquiry Commission, the attorneys on both sides, and those four surviving men who had hoped their convictions would have been overturned today in these proceedings. The judges said that while there are aspects of the case that remain troubling to them, the defense did not prove their client's innocence over these nine days of testimony. Following the brief ruling, both the defense and the district attorney's office spoke with us. They were both emotional today for very different reasons. This, this, this is the tragedy of this case. Under today's laws, none of these young men would have been charged or convicted because the information that was obtained from them is now considered inadmissible. Because now, if you're under 16, you have to have your lawyer there. Everything has to be recorded. recorded. Things have to change. The legislature needs to listen to this. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, and we will keep fighting for these young men. There will be further motions. This, this courthouse has not heard the end of this case. You go from having tremendous relief for the family because you, you, you have suffered with them and held their hands, and I know members of my staff have prayed with them during this period of time, and, and you go to a feeling of, just sheer joy that you know that these people are finally going to get some, some closure uh, and that they're going to have a chance to sleep tonight peacefully all the way through the night. That's and Nathaniel Jones's daughters, Robin and Rhonda, they also spoke late this afternoon. They told us that they hope this is the last time they have to testify about their father's murder. They hoped that they would finally get some closure. We'll have much more from today's proceedings coming up at 6 o'clock in Winston-Salem. Leanne Danier, WXII 12 News.